It really depends, right? Sometimes you get the position too soon, sometimes you don't. And, and I think you've gotten better at, mm -hmm. at, at giving up when you need to. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like before you'd be so tunnel vision, like whatever you had learned is like, I'm doing this and this only. And so I get with your profession, I get why that kind of would take place. It's like this I know to be true. Um, but with jujitsu, it's like we need to understand the distancing. So like when the guy goes up, that's gonna tell you completely things have changed yeah. dramatically. As long as on his knees, things are still the same if you're playing guard. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so what we'll do is we'll kind of move around a little bit. I'm just going to observe you changing as I try to change the scenario for you. Okay. You do your thing, right? Yeah. If I can't change it, then I can't change it. You know what I'm saying? That's probably a good thing for you. Does that make sense? That was good. You saw that hair and you trying to pull him on track. Yep. Freeze right there, freeze right here. This game we're playing right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, move your hips out that way. Yeah, now this is this, because now it's much easier for you to go on the inside, go on the inside now. See how much yeah. easier it is? Because I, I can't, all this space exists right now. When we're here, I can keep this here tight and we can play this this kind of roly, roly, roly poly game all day. But as soon as you moved over, now that space is gone, you could easily go under, under the middle, middle the whole time, so it's very hard for me to get that back. Right. You wanna push my shoulder and just keep your elbow in. Yeah, see I can't, I can't go under now. Now if you want to, See what your bicep's doing right here? This foot can take over. Put your foot on my head. Now that, oh man, I'm so screwed right now. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. if I go this way to get out, I'm a plata. Right, yeah, 100%. All right, so watch, come back. If I go this way to get out, but if I try to drop back in, turn around your side again, turn on your side again. Okay. If I try to go back into you, push this out. Mm -hmm. Now pull your leg through the middle. Now go through the middle, like, yeah, I like a triangle style. Pull and bring your foot yeah. out. Bring that leg through the middle, yeah, yeah. boom. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep, because you kept me away. Come back, put that back on the bicep. Yeah. You can go bicep, you can go hip to bicep. So let's watch again. So you can go here, if you're fighting here, get your hips out just a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. All right, put your foot on my bicep. Yeah, now it's here, it's like, yeah, and you can go, now you can really make me, see how you can make me go that way? If you want to do a plot, you can make me go that way because I can't, right. I can't stop that. Or you can oh, go thread up on my neck. And yeah, you, or you go here and you grab your shin, boom, they can put your foot on the hip and shrimp, yeah, yeah. Lock it, don't go out, remember, hip out. Stay, keep me in the hole, take your butt that way, yeah. Now lock it, even though this is here, lock that. And mm -hmm. squeeze it. Lock and squeeze it. Squeeze. Uh, yeah. Once you did that shrimp, it changed everything. I'm holding here some of this guy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Put the hip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. This is the only thing blocking you right here. See that right there? Yeah. Back. See, how you, see how your hips can move? Put that back under again. Put that back under my elbow. That was in here. Yeah, when you were here, it like locked your hip. You can only go yeah. so far. But as soon as you pull that out, your hips could go that way. Yeah, your hips could go further out. Uh -huh. So that little bitty thing just kind of, oh man, this is blocking my hips. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's so strong. It's uh, pulling forward. Such a strong. <laughs> pull this arm. Now pull that arm out. Boom. Now pull that, that top arm out. Yeah, pull this guy out. Yeah, now it's like, oh man, this sucks. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay in this hole over here. Now, if I lay, see how I lay this hole? Uh -huh. So see how you're having a hard time? Put that up in my armpit higher. This, no, your, your leg, sorry, your leg. Yeah, see how hard it is? Uh -huh. Why, because I'm laying on your hip, you feel that? Yeah. So where, where's your options here? Hug this arm, and I shrimp your hips over this way. Here, like this, boom. You see that, yeah, yeah, there? Uh -huh. And if you wanna swim this, swim this guy here, swim. Now I'm gonna apply to push my face. Yeah. 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 Remember, it's like changing the angle. If one angle's not working, maybe the complete opposite angle is gonna work. It looked like I had the arm. Yeah, it was blocked. Because here, let's go again. Grab that. We'll lay over here. So when I lay here, even if you oh. threw that leg over my face, go that leg over my face. I'll be able to pull this guy out. No problem. Why? Because it's weird. See how your hips are, all, your knees are all flying with your shoulders. Your shoulders are here. Your knees are kind of twisted. Yeah. Makes me like, it gives me all this gap. And I didn't have Where if you were here, oh man, you're gonna get. It's totally different, yeah. If I'm here, I'm gonna get this out, no oh, problem. Yeah, yeah. Of course. And this is the problem that got nuts. This is the problem that got like, ah, oh, it's so close, I can get, I yeah. can get, I can get. Yeah, I should have straightened you back up. Yeah, you can, like, go go back to that whole position snare again. So we'll do here and I'm laying over, okay? So go ahead. Yeah, if you can go, like, pull my, go up under my leg here. Now kick out, yeah, now you can get it over my head, now yeah. go over my head, boom, there it is. 
Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? You got me, yeah. you straightened me back up. Uh-huh. Cause I'm like, Argh. I'm like, no. This closed guard like super t- tough to deal with. <laughs> Go the other way. Put the foot my head back. Go the other way. Try. gonna block you a little bit. Yeah, that's good though. Your hand right there is gonna block you just a little bit. Grab my shoulder. Yeah, now you can move out more. Shrimp out to the wall. Yeah! You see that? Put your hand back around. This is what I was showing in class the other day, right? So if this hand's in here too tight, it blocks your hips. Put your foot on the hip. Shrimp out. Yeah, see how you gotta pull it, keep it in there. Shrimp. Now take it out. Shrimp out. Oh, you can go a little, you can go that by that much more farther. Because that's about the size of your hand. All right, so if I'm here driving into you, how you gonna do with my plot? Do you mean your triangle? Come to the middle. Bring that leg through the middle. Yep, boom. Oh, there it is right there. So when the guy's like trying to block try uh on the plot, he got triangle. Uh-huh. Alright, keep going. Keep going, finish. So on the same on the inside. No, no. So on the same. No, no, I go under. Yeah, now push that away. Push my bicep away. Now change your ankle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now lock. Squeeze. See that? You guys get that inside. When I was on the inside, you try to pick your ankle. I'm gonna say, kind of, I'm biting here, I'm keeping uh-huh. here. Once you go on the inside, now you can push that shoulder away. Yeah, get you out further. Uh-huh. Just that little bit is the difference between success and failure. Yeah, I was it. Yeah. yeah. If I'm here, I can, I can keep you in here. But as soon as you roll on the inside, push, oh, man, that's tough. Uh-huh. You can change me, you turn my shoulders. Uh-huh. This help, yep, that helps either omoplata or triangle. That uh-huh. helps, because I'm falling this hole right here. Uh-huh. And so now grab your shin. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And if you need to, you can extend. So lock the guard for me a little bit. Like, well, I just close the legs. Yeah. So if you need this, now raise your hand above your head over here. Now lift your hips up to the ceiling. And now push my arm across here. Now, now grab. That's fine. Push your yeah. head back there if you want. Yeah. 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 If you need to keep that arm in the way. Maybe the guy's got a big, huge arm, you know? Mm-hmm. Or a big, huge arm. over, yeah. Sometimes you got to do that to, to finish triangle. Like, your legs aren't yeah. long enough. And he's, uh, he's just a big guy. But you see that? Keeping me in that closed guard gives you options to figure out what's <clears> happening, <throat> what's not happening. But once the guard opens and I'm up, man, you don't have all that, that time and to screw up and grab wrong and to kind of figure out the scenario. So the closed guard allows this so that can, so when we talk about closed guards because I'm so close to you. Mm-hmm. Open guards because I get away. So now when we talk about open guard, you gotta have something to tie me to yourself. It doesn't allow me to get too much distance for you because once I get too much distance, I can go around your legs, under your legs, through your yeah. legs. So it's keeping the guy really close. So how do we do that? So that collar grip is, is very tough. You know, you got a very good collar grip, but make sure it's up high in my collarbone. Yeah. This is tough because you pull my head down. Uh-huh. If it's lower, go lower a little bit. Go down, slide, slide down a little bit. Yeah. So you can start to see how I, yeah. I take, go up higher. Yeah, pull down now. Yeah. And then go just a little bit lower. Like, see how I can yeah, start to- got more. Yeah, yeah, I got more, more leverage. Lever, so get out on the edge of the lever. So if my spine's the lever, uh-huh. yeah, man, it's like, this is horrible. Yeah. So like if a guy, I'll tell you just my perspective right here. So go down a little bit. If a guy's down here, I don't really care about it. He can have because it's it's a it's a false posture control. It's not gonna be the best. Now if a guy's a gorilla, it, you know, yeah, it, it needs to be cool. down here somewhere. But yeah. I mean, but if it's a guy that I can handle the power, uh-huh. then I sometimes let him keep that because up. that hand, that hand is occupied for me to attack this leg maybe. Uh, Does that make sense? Yeah. But if it's up here and you're pulling down, attacking this leg is not an option because look how you pull me out. I can't attack this leg. Oh, if you go down, I might have the ability to posture up and I can attack this leg. So really, yeah. it's all relative. So it's like, you know, the distance between maybe a hand's distance or more. Yeah, I gotta keep, could be the distance between success really and deep in there. Yeah, I can't keep that, let you keep this. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So what do we need to do to keep that? Yeah. need to be high. Now, let's talk about, now let's watch this. So open your guard. I'm going to show you how this could be dangerous depending on the scenario. Uh-huh. Are you ready? All right, so open your guard up. All right, so keep that. Keep what you got. Sit up with me. Sit up with me. Okay, let's say we're here. All right, now we're here. This being super high can be a bad situation for you. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I have the ability. <laughs> I 
They're gonna attack like a flying triangle. Wow. wow yeah, but if you're right. down, if you're down here, I'm gonna have a hard time getting under that elbow. Uh -huh, right. And oh, so you I can see. like stick your foot on the outside, yeah. move your hips and pull me in the hole. But ah, boom. So that can work for you. But too high, given the scenario. Sure. Yeah. If I'm up here, man, this is it gives yeah. this armpit. Yeah. I can even step around to pass the guard. Yeah. Yeah. But if we're here, you got it lower. Yeah. You're lower with this like like that. Yeah. Now, now if I'm gonna block you, I have the ability to move. Yeah, you have the ability to move. It's hard for me to stretch this piece out and step in the hole right here. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, flying trap, yeah. So it depends on the scenario. This is good sometimes, but sometimes it ain't. This is bad, you know, whatever. If you're in his guard, you want to get rid of this. If he's up deep. Oh, man, dude, if, if the, guy, the guy's in your, if you're in his guard and he's got to close that high grip, oh, horrible. But if he happens to grab that high and you're not in his guard, then you can. You can use it to your advantage. You can jump right over him. Jump over him. And we'll look at that. You don't even have to jump. It don't have to be something dramatic. You yeah. just step. I'll show you. So if I'm here with you and I've got a cross grip, and let's say that we started here, we were down here, and I kept this, and you move back away from me, and I keep this guy. Keep walking back, keep walking back, keep walking back. Keep my feeling around. Now, I stay here. This is very high. I want to keep this. I'd have to uh, try to pull you in a hole here, right? So you bring your hips forward. Watch your legs. Don't let me kind of catch you here. Back up a little bit. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to step with your left foot right there over my leg. You want to step over my neck with this leg. And then sit right on my chest. Boom. Yeah, and there's the fall, there and there's the, there's the triangle. Boom. Or you can roll to the arm bar. Roll your face to the mat. Go arm bar. Leg over. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. There's your arm. So you have, because you can extend my arm and create the separation between my, my rib cage and my but I elbow. Step over that leg. Yeah, you gotta, get, you gotta get into the triangle scenario. So if the guy's grabbing here, I can right. be here. Like if he's down here and he's got a good grip here. So right here, there's no triangle. But once I stand up, oh, there, there's no. where it would be. Ah, and I jump right on yeah. yeah. But if you go down, I try to do this, you can stiff arm me. Yeah, I don't have nothing. Yeah. I just can't. But if you're here, come on higher. Try to stiff arm me. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, you yeah, can't. Yeah. You go up. If you stiff arm, you go straight up. Yeah. You can create more of the. Wow. So as soon as you, so what do we do with that? So how do I use this as a technique or something? So come back up. So we're here. Let's say you're down here on your knees. Be down on your knees at first one. This is not a bad idea. Okay, so I'm here. I got two scenarios. You're out, we're fighting here. And you go to stand up, right? Mm -hmm. You walk back, put my feet on the ground. Now I'm good. Blah, blah, blah. Now I got my elbow. See how my elbow went down? Yeah. Or, I'm at, or I switch my grip. Like the cross collar's good, as long as the guy's not standing up. As soon as the guy's standing up, then it's like, switch here. You know, I want to try to find. So they go back, put me on the ground, my feet on the ground. Walk back, walk back, walk back. It's like, boom. Now if you try to jump, go. Go ahead. So I can stiff arm. The stiff arm yeah. still works. Yeah. Not the best. You can still go over my neck. Go over my neck. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best. Mm -hmm. I can still be caught. So it's not the best. It's better than that. Uh -huh. I'd rather slide down because then it works for both on both ways. So even this one can get you caught. It doesn't have to be a cross collar. The same side collar can get you caught yeah. if you got standing up. Yeah. Your arm gets lifted up. Uh -huh. So as soon as a guy stands up, I don't reach for here. Reach for here or reach for here. Because now yeah. you're gonna, you have a hard time getting under the cell phone. If he's getting up high, then I know oh, what man, you can do. Step, in, step yeah. in the whole step over the neck. Yeah. Boom, boom, one, two. Yep, yep. You yep. fall there and you pull him in the yard. Just pull me over. Yeah. Yep. You know, younger guys, they'll jump, land on their yeah. chest. Us older guys, we just kind of walk over them. Yeah. You still get it done, you know? Yeah. But all about the collar. So when we go here, your collar's awesome. Grips out collar. Yeah, socks for me. So I stand up. Yeah, it's like now you change. I go down and grab the ankle. Yeah, da, 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 they yeah. start playing the game here. I'm gonna try to shove the leg here. There's the tripod, 100%. Yep, boom, standing base. Good. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. But you kept the connection. It's like, okay, cool, boom. And you changed. You changed what you were thinking about because the scenario changed. So you was like, all right, I gotta go to, yeah. I gotta go to the tripod style yeah. game. And that's when we want to go back to take it full circle. When we very start at the beginning is like I cannot get so tunnel visioned on what I want instead of what I have. You know, I gotta see what I have. You can want a whole bunch of stuff, but if you don't have the scenarios for what you have, then, and so that's, if you keep the guy in, inside your little kind of area, then you can still do what you want because you still have the same thing. But we need to recognize when the angle changes, the distances changes, and that connection changes, that there's some scenarios that just aren't gonna work. You know I mean? We need to let those go and move the transition to something else. And I think that's where you can start to see guys' mentalities change in their jujitsu is they're starting to be able to flow very seamless between these two areas. And it becomes almost like a dance, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not so uh, 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 you're jerky. Yeah. It becomes very flow and you start to see these guys transition. But then you have some guys that just transition too much. 
It's like, it's still there, dude. You can still kind of keep this. And so we got to find that balance. It's, you know, it's like tuning a radio. You want an arm bar and you're able to pull it across. How do you trap that arm where it doesn't move? Where yeah, you so to, you're not pulling it's it all out. about, it's all about capturing. So th this is the scenario right here. All this right here from here down. It's about capturing that. Well, the key is, for me, uh -huh. thinking about this, this doesn't bother me as much as this leg. That is horrible. Uh -huh. This is this is game. Uh, how do you for keep me. this from coming out? Well, here's the thing. You got it. So 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 lift your hips. Just lift. Push up my. Yeah, that's gonna be hard to lift out. Because mm -hmm. now there's this connection. Because you're biting with your cat. Yeah, dude. And then this is pinching too. There's like, there's an adduction going uh -huh. on right here. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of friction there. So yeah, your arm's so doing I'm some work. I'm actually pinching you toward. Me. Yeah, hundred percent. Just pinching you. No, nah, just pinching it to me. Yeah, you're keeping uh -huh. me corralled in. Yeah. See how your knees in line with your shoulder right now? This knee is pretty much in line with the shoulder. Uh -huh. And for me to kill this, I'm gonna wanna try to take, I'm gonna open my right knee out and I'm gonna try to take you offline here. Mm -hmm. And so even you pulling me into that scenario, that's why when I told you to pull your, go under my leg here, is don't let my leg go out. So pull my, go under my leg here. So my arms corral. You can grab, you grab the pants, whatever, now pull yourself over there. And then pulling yourself over there pulls my, your shoulder, yeah, pulls your shoulder you up, right yeah. on your knee here. And here it is. Trouble. Yeah, but it's all about this leg. Yeah. This leg is what people obsess about, but it's really this leg that's the key. Yeah, it's the bite. It's the aim gun. In order to shoot the gun, right? This is what I tell people, right? So in order to shoot the gun, this is your rear sight, and this is your front sight. And so you need to line up with your eyeball. Kabah, kabah. Right, here's the target. You're a shooter, right? Kabah. So when we're here, watch. If the target's back behind my head, and I won't mm -hmm. let you line up your sights, go. Yeah. I can't. So go under my leg now and line up your sights. Oh, man, I'm trying. Now you can shoot the gun. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. As soon as you line up your sights, you can wow. shoot the gun, rear sight, front sight. So when I'm doing an arm bar, it's like, okay, so I don't care, I just, I'll pull this down, let me have, so I'm here, bah, nah, nah, nah. as long as I'm here, if I don't line up my sights, here's my rear sight, here's my front sight. If I throw my leg up, you pull your arm out. <sighs> you see? All right, watch. Now I line up my sights, I come here, I line up my sights, knee, Toe. Ooh, I can't, oh, I can't man, you're in trouble out. now, dude. I can't get it out. I mean, and the sights, it doesn't have to be like, oh, let me look. But you get the idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. have to be. Yeah. But yeah. it can't be like this. The back leg, the leg that's on the back, has to be super strong. It has to be in line, the toe, in line with the knee, in line with the shoulder. Mm -hmm. That's the case you're in game. So that's my focus. I'm trying to do an arm bar. So no matter what happens, if you hug and you go under my leg, just get that in position. There it is. Boom, we go. There it is. It's all day. Boom. Mm -hmm. Right down my head. Done. And then the second thing is, come back to the same position. Okay. Second thing is, is that you can't allow me to try to pin your shoulder, your knees to your shoulders. Right. So what do you do? You put your head on the mat. Right. You, you, almost like, you almost like extend your hips up and push your head into the mat more. Yeah. Because now when I try to drive you, these become, the, the distance becomes greater between these two and the arm bar starting to take place. Yeah. Because guys let this happen and they want to try to <clears throat> smash the guy away. Right. But here, keep this guy tight. And now just kind of wiggle short shoulder walk that way a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. See how this is now, the distance becomes greater and then like the fulcrum starts to take place. Does that make sense? You can feel the elbow too. Now I lost, I lost your elbow. That's the whole point. You stabbed me. That's the whole point of this is that you yeah, pull, pull the right. elbow free. But now, hold on. Let's stay right here. Do I have to just give up? No, you got no we transition. I have no plot. But right here, I, I can't just go my plot here because if I just go my plot without doing something with my arms, you're going to take this arm to the other side of my body. Yeah, and now you're gonna posture up, take me and roll me over my shoulder, and take me this way, but this way. Yeah, blind. Right? Mm -hmm. So what I need to do is when we go to that scenario, so I'm gonna go here, not pull it out, boom. All right, so we're here. I can't go to Plata because you're just, so I have to swim this and get this out. Now I'm gold. Yeah. Now, now if you try to roll me, that back that way you did before, I push your head down. There it is right there, look at that. Push your head away. Push your head away, my hips move out, and I'm out here. I can't roll you. Yeah, put my head on the mat, lift me up. If you lift me up, that lift me. Yeah, put my head on that, you're in trouble. Um, now I can check, I can grab and check, and check and grab your hips and all that other stuff. How you do? Okay, boom, leg over. Okay, you, you, you screw up, you let me stack you. I pull my arm out, bam. Now swim, do the swim first, swim. Yep, elbow, now push my head away with your top leg. Boom, and now put the foot in front of my face. Cause I can't go towards you. Yeah, now keep your head on the mat, and arch your, like lift your hips. Yeah, there's a lot of weight here. Now put this under my face, your right shin. Yes. Even if I grab your foot, it's not a big deal, right? Because if I pull your foot down, I'm not actually lifting you up. Right? Right. So I would like to get your foot on the back of my head. Put your foot on the back of my head now. Yeah, that way I can try to roll you. Mm -hmm. But if you put it under, 
And if you catch my far elbow, grab my far elbow, go under my far elbow with your foot. Extend, extend through it. Yeah, this sucks. You feel that? Yeah. Horrible. All right, I'm gonna try to get this off. Now, I'm gonna step my foot up like I'm trying to roll you. You can actually try to get up under my ankle, under my knee here with this foot. It might be difficult because my legs are longer, yeah. legs are shorter, but if you can get this foot under the guy's leg, it sucks too. But ultimately, keep your head on the mat so I can't roll you, mm -hmm. right? And when you're ready, you can now check my hips. So if I try to jump over you, yeah, grab. You can grab my hip there, grab my hip up here, my belt, whatever, to keep me from, from getting out. Now when you're ready, head on the mat, put your foot on the mat, and then shrimp towards, to, towards west. Yeah, oh, now I have to come, I'm falling into the hole because right now I don't have a table yeah. right over here. So now you pull the, the table, you pull the guy to the table leg. Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. Uh -huh. He goes down, he fights this fight right here, he keeps fighting this fight, you keep doing it, you keep playing this game. Pretty soon the guy, just, he's, he's had enough. Yeah. And then, then you can make me flatten me out. So now you grab the leg, you stretch it out as you pull. Yeah, now yeah, you can sit up and start attacking the shoulder like you like. Okay. But that's the snare, it's like fishing. You know, it's fishing for marlin. You can't try to reel that marlin in too quick. Yeah. It'll snap your line. So we get there, we let the fish kind of do its thing. We just kind of check and make sure you stay on the boat. And we just kind of sit there and then the guy gets tired. And then you can go after his shoulder. Yeah, all from the arm bar. All from the arm bar. For the attempted arm bar. For the attempted arm bar. And there's, you know, we go for things they fail, but not all is lost. Yeah. You know, it's best to see what's next. What do I have? Not what do I want. What do I want plays a factor for sure. But it's like, what do I have? Mm -hmm is in line with what I want. Okay, cool, let's do it. You know what I mean? So we gotta, you know, we gotta be open to what's available. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you can create a lot of this, you know, like, like I'll give you for instance, like I'll pretend like I want to arm drag, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the guy pulls it back so I can try to bump sweep him or I try to bump sweep the guy so he drives back and I pull the arm drag. So there's a little bit of baiting that goes on, yeah. part of the combination thing you're talking about, Yeah, for sure. But there's two ways, right? You set it up for it to fail, to a, to a combination. To a combination. Or you actually go for it and it fails to a combination. So they're, you know, more strategy more than anything or yeah, just kind yeah, of circumstance. Yeah. Those first 30 seconds mm -hmm. of that roll, seeing that for those first 30 seconds, I think is the key. Once you get ahead, it's hard to get behind if you're. Yeah, no, you do. It's yours to lose. It's yeah. just like a race. Yeah. You slow up like the, the hair, you know, the hair's yeah. like, oh, I can take yeah. that easy. Yeah. Yeah. The tortoise will eventually yeah. catch up. Yeah. So we'll go back to this original thing. We'll start, we'll go back all the way to the beginning, like you were talking about, the first, you know, couple seconds in the volley. So combinations all really start with the guy. Okay, so here's another thing I'll do. Like open and, open and volley is I'm actually trying to get an idea of how the guy wants to do things, right? Because we all like to do this. We like to do that. We like we have these likes we like, you know what I mean? And so I want the guy to kind of let me know what that is. And I can't just sit here and wait. Yeah. So I kind of attack the guy and I see how he responds to things and you kind of get a picture of kind of what he's going to be doing. Now there could be some you know higher level baiting going on with that, but for the most part, people usually go to what they like, mm -hmm. and they're going to try to do it again if they think it's even close. All right, so when we go to the initial thing, what I'm doing is I'm trying to control that inside. So we're always swimming the inside. When we're always swimming the inside, the guy's putting his hands on the inside, and that's where you know arm bars or whatever take place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said so you you kept arm dragging, which was great because yeah. I kept what putting my hands on the inside, right. and you kept dragging them across. Right, go play. See what as soon as you. Ah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna fix that real quick. <laughs> Don't give up on this. This is good. <laughs> get higher, like you get higher. And now look back, look back behind. <laughs> Just you change your head. I like, come back. Do that again. So come up here with me. So here, pull me down. Don't do the head thing. Go. All right. Now look back and do it. <laughs> well, I mean, how heavy? Hey, hey, Doc, how heavy is your head? Unbelievable. Is it ten pounds? Yeah. You just added ten pounds. This yeah. is what happened. Yeah. Go ahead. And I'm not messing with. <laughs> start shrimping. Start, start making some space. We keep your connections, but start shrimping. Now change, angles start to change. Now we have, if something happens, swim this out, swim this top out. Go to the, go to the key more now. Yeah. You have a straight up angle. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Lock it. Stay tight. Now I'm going to hug your body. Negative. Now get up on your hand. Get up on your left hand. Yeah, yeah now lift your hips and bump me. Now lift through me. Yeah. You see, I was hugging you. I was like, no, you're not going to get my key more. Come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got to. Once again, we got, oh, there's a key more right, here. Yeah, there's a key more to the bar. More. So again, when you moved your hips, the game changed. So we're playing this game when you're square with me, go. Uh -huh. yeah, keep moving, move, move, move. Yeah, as soon as you change, but make sure you connect it because then it makes it easier for me to attack. Yeah. Swim the inside, hands on the mat, you go for it, boom. The guy's like, oh, hell no, he hugs your body. He's like, you can't have that. Come up on your hands, stay connected. And bump through your knee, go through your knee, yep. Yep, and now set your weight back because the guy's gonna try to feed us from the hamster. Right, underhook one, 
Underhook two's got a guy standing me. Yeah. Underhook one, underhook two. But the key is, is that whole exchange, the only flaw that I felt was when you're shrimping, you're disconnecting. Yeah, I can't disconnect. And that's the problem with shrimping because shrimping, a lot of times, how we do it down the mat is very defensive in nature. So really, it's not a shrimp as much as it is as a twitch. We gotta be careful not to create space because we create space. That's for him. That's for him, exactly. Yeah. If you're in a good spot, this tape yeah. sucks. If you're in a good spot, you can't make space. So when you go to do that shrimp, it makes sure you stay tight to me. More of a twitch, more of a just kind of making a little, you know, making a little mm -hmm. hole, that's all. Yeah. Yep, that's much better. I, I, I didn't lose, you didn't lose me there. Dude, this is a pain in the ass, this is my neck here. <laughs> stay tight when you try to play that. Yep, this is gonna block you. Now you get this out. I got some space here, what are you gonna do? You better keep me down, pull this to you. Yeah, there's on the plot, now go get it, let's go get it. No, 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 yeah, you gotta, like, yeah, that was not bad. The pushing off me is a good concept, but you're gonna have to do, when we're in here, grab that cross grip here, okay. You're gonna have to do like almost a leg lift. So the key is when you go to armbar, the guy's gonna try to posture initially out of it, and once he's locked, he's gonna drive back into you, stacking, right? That's just, right. got it. Keep me here. Keep my shoulders above your shoulders. I'm gonna have a hard time with everything. With everything. See my shoulders above your shoulders right now? Mm -hmm. This is bad for me. So now you gotta make a space. Make the angle. Yes! This is, this is still blocking here. Once you're here, now come out of here and go get it. Yeah, now I'm in trouble. Now keep moving, movement. Yep. Remember your head, lift your hips. Hug it to your body. Pat. That's her blue. Anyway, move the hips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you need to, you start feeling like you lose. Swim, you gotta swim, or it's gonna swim. There it is, now it's gonna work. You see? Yeah. Don't put, don't put the cart before the horse. Same thing over here, you go. Now, move your hips, gotta move your hips. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Triangle style. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I should push it across. And I gotta get it. You gotta grab the shin, I'm gonna pop up. Where's your shin grab? Let this hand. Put the foot on the hip. Yeah, now lock it. That's please. You better can't make that chappy. Okay. Excellent. But see how you stay connected the whole time? That was good. It's work, man. You gotta, you gotta be fit. You gotta do the work. You gotta be fit. You gotta be for sure. You gotta be fit. I think Especially the guy knows jiu-jitsu, right? And the guy on top knows jiu-jitsu, you're gonna have to be fit. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to work. Well, you know the thing. We need to be technical, right? Sure. sure but it's everything. Yeah. But we're talking about going against people that don't know jiu-jitsu and people that do know jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Being in shape, it's a sport. You know, because when it's jiu-jitsu versus jiu-jitsu, it's a sport. When it's jiu-jitsu versus the guy don't know what he's doing, it's not a sport, it's still defense. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's right. And so that's kind of how I look at it. So a sport, you gotta be in shape, you know, athletes gotta be in shape, they gotta yeah. eat right. Yeah. So, you know, we, we train to go against a jiu-jitsu practitioner with the understanding that we don't need all this fancy stuff for somebody who doesn't know jiu-jitsu. We just need rock solid fundamental stuff. So we try to, you know, stick to the fundamentals, mm -hmm. but an advanced understanding of them so that it still works on guys that know what those are about. Yeah. You know, they know the ins and outs, they know how to block, they know they know what you want. They're like, yeah. I'm not gonna get what you want because yeah. I know you want this. Yeah. Still being able to do it is the type of jiu-jitsu you want because then it doesn't. it's not relying on us trying to find the newest, fanciest thing to surprise people with is an ambush, oh. you know? That's too hard to yeah. keep up, it's just too yeah. hard. Yeah. So we can we can train the fundamentals hardcore, that how to chain them together in a, in a good, connected, yeah. transitionary yeah. way, and man, it, yeah. it's hard to stop. There's yeah. nothing worse than you know an armbar's coming and you can't stop it. Yeah. Even if you know how it works, how to block it, and the guy's still able to pull this thing off, it's like, man, that is power. And if you're not if you're not as tired as the other guy, that's a that helps, 100% helps. Huge advantage. Why wouldn't you do that? Is that just better anyway? Yeah, better shape. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but you see the connection. That's the key, man. That key, yeah, that, that connection. connection is, is, as soon as you lose that, man, yeah, you, you can change. have all the wants in the world, yeah, but you don't have yeah, any of the. Yeah, yeah. Then, that that's when you have to go to a really good open guard. Yeah, and it, but but even that remains connected. But now, yeah. you, instead of you being your inner thighs controlling uh -huh. God, you're now controlling God through your feet. Uh -huh. So the so remember, like, with all these, there's a push and a pull, right? And so the pull is my arms hugging. You're pulling my posture down. You're hugging me. You're pulling my shoulders down. You're pulling my arms. You're doing all, those are all the pulls. A lot of it's upper body, okay? Here's a good thing. If you find your upper body pushing, you're probably getting your butt kicked. 
Right. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. But your upper body's pulling, yeah. and your lower body's pushing, uh -huh. and you're creating angles yeah. off that push. Sometimes pulling too, but you got that push and pull kind of taking place. You're offensive. Yeah. You know, when you, when you start pushing, that's all defensive from there. And so me as the top guy, if I feel the guy start, I make him start pushing me. Mm, I just change the tempo of what's going on here. Sure did. So the whole time I'm trying to get rid of all these things, it's like, that gum it, man. This guy's kicking my butt right. right now. And so that's why as me as a person can watch, you know, two guys that are going out, they're really, really closely tied. There's no points to get, you know, in a sport context. There's no points being exchanged. Who's winning right now? I look, okay, is the bottom guy having to push or is he pulling? Is the bottom guy having to shrimp, shrimp to make space because he's catching too much pressure from the top guy? The bottom guy's losing in all those scenarios. If he stops pulling, he starts pushing more, and he starts having to make space between him and the top guy, he's trying to take the pressure off. Mm -hmm. He's not making angles. There's a big difference between making angles and creating space. He's actually shrimping and trying to create space. That, that, that bottom guy's pulling, losing. Pulling all the while, right? If you're, if you're making space and pulling, yeah, that's offensive. That's offensive. If you're pushing and making yeah. space, you're, you're like, get off yeah. me, man. This yeah. is this. Yeah. Now, that's the bottom guy losing. The bottom guy winning is if he's pulling the whole time, and the top guy, if it looks like he's always trying to stabilize yeah. his base, yeah. if he's always trying to maintain his base because it's getting compromised the whole time, then top guy's kind of losing this game. Mm -hmm. The top guy's a rock solid wall, and if the bottom guy's pulling that wall and that wall's not moving, mm -hmm. the top guy is starting to he's starting to take over that that scenario. But once I got your shoulders, when you told me oh, just man. that one thing, I, I immediately was in a quick advantage. 100%. Yeah, you could you could attack from that position. Uh, so well, you you go to being facing two of my objects. Mm -hmm. To turn, you only face really yeah. one. You only have to deal with one. Or wow. the other one's isolated. You go here. You're only dealing with one of the arms. You know, you create such. If, an if angle. I get my shoulders under your shoulders. Oh yeah, well that's that's me that's getting my huge. base. Yeah, yeah. My base is now compromised. You're yeah. under me. Yeah. Remember, the whole point of the guard is to get under the yeah. top guy, yeah. and then the top guy is to stabilize. Yeah. And you're what not, does he do? You're not over me. I'm under you. Right. Yeah, right. Well, we'll take either. Right. I'll take yeah. the over or under. Yeah. But either way, yeah. that position is like that. So. Yeah. When that happens, now we start to affect the guy's base, and he does what? He either gets swept, say you got rid of something, you sweep me, mm -hmm. or he starts putting his hands down to stabilize, and now we can yeah. start attacking. Attack, uh, yeah. Because he becomes predictable. Mm -hmm. If I go to sweep the guy, it becomes predictable how he's going to try to stop himself from getting sweep, swept, and so now I can start attacking that. That's where that near side arm bar, it comes from the Kimura, mm -hmm. the arm bar, the Maplata. It's all based on me using my hands to keep myself a rack because you're freaking pulling me down the whole time. And so if I'm doing that, I'm not pushing your legs down. I'm not creating posture and creating separation between me and you so I can get out of your guard. Yeah. I'm always trying to go back to neutral. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's like you have, it's not wow. neutral, but yeah. you get it. It's neutral. So you do is you take the guy past <laughs> on your side. He's trying to get back to neutral. During his trying to get back to neutral, we're attacking him. Yeah. So we just keep that trend, we yeah. just keep that going, that chain keep going. Bring, keep bringing and that's him in. That's being ahead. Him in. You're mm -hmm. ahead of the guy, ahead of the yeah. guy. And then he yeah. over and he overcompensates. So let's say that he 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 postures up, he's really strong at posturing back up. He overcompensates, the bombs start taking place. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, you, yeah. you just keep the guy. Yeah. <laughs> and you use, I don't think you have all eight directions. You know what I mean? They're not all there, uh, but there's probably about at least five or six of the directions. You know what I'm talking about? The asterisks of where, which way you can take the guy yeah. Yeah. based yeah. on that. Yeah. 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 You, know, you yeah. may not have all eight, but you have, you have yeah. five of them. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's real important to see where those at and then drill those. And even what we were doing right there is still drilling. Even though it's not like, uh, bah, bah. You know what I mean? It's still drilling because the scenario is the same. I'm giving you active drilling. I'm giving you yeah. things you can see, and you're now seeing the scenarios as they play out. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. And yeah. so it's important to recognize, go, keep connection. The problem is we recognize, we let everything go, and go, okay, new thing. It has to be a connection to the old thing. And that's how the combination takes yeah. place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. see, like, if I did, if we're just doing a scenario where we're just doing arm bar. All right, arm bar is like this kind of lull. Reconnect, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. arm bar. Mm -hmm. Disconnect, reconnect, Kimura, bop, bop, bop. We got to get out of that. It has to be that you were in step three of arm bar, and then you went to step four for Kimura, Kimura. to finish, or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, and so start yeah, to feel yeah. that. That's through that connection, because if you go oh, back to zero, then there's that disconnect that takes place in your mind. And so we need to understand that this is just a variant route to these other submissions is the combination. Uh, if we start to think in those terms, I feel like we're looking for that opportunity <clears throat> to pull the guy's head down. It's very similar to me doing that initial for the Kimura and the drill, but it's like, oh, oh, here it is. I only got one thing to get rid of here instead of four to set this up like I did before if we just did it for a drill. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah. Is that too oh, much? Oh, absolutely. So, so what, what, 
when somebody you've got somebody and I'm in your guard, uh -huh. and then you notice there's a for, you know inexperience or whatever reason he's he's got a dramatic shift in his upper body. Yeah, so that should give it that does should trigger some things, shouldn't it? But biggest thing is telling me right now. So let's just say this scenario is this. Let's say that my guard's sitting here roughly. Put that foot back up for me. The biggest scenario for me right now is the height of your right hip bone compared to your left hip bone, right? It tells me there's a hole right here that exists, right? See that hole that exists? So I want you to, to um, just start moving your body without using your left hand. Just move your, your body to your left. That, don't move anything. Just start moving to your, you're gonna fall, right? Yeah, you say you're gonna you keep this up here, but just here. Don't use your hand. Yeah, you're gonna fall. Yeah. That's the compromise, but here, I want you to stabilize this way. Just keep, keep your feet in place. Stabilize, 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 stabilize. Ready? Stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. Dude, I barely touch you. Yeah. Does that make sense? So whatever leg the guy puts up, I know that the, 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 the open point is over on the other side. Does that make sense? Now, here's the problem. Guys will overcompensate, right? They're like, I know the hole's there, so they overcompensate their weight back the other way. So come back. So we have to be open. You know that this is the scenario here. So let's just say that I start to pull the guy, he starts to compensate, starts setting your butt to your heel. Yes. Now here's the thing. This no longer is the base. Put, put your weight forward again. Yeah, so this is the base. Oh, man, you see you had to put that there. Yeah. But as you shift your butt back, this is not the base. It can be deceiving. This is the base. Mm -hmm. It's not the base. Put, put your weight back. So now it's just here. See how I lift it up anymore? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see, I take you back that way. So really, the, comprom the compromise of your base is to get your butt past your heel right That's here. the whole thing. So there. I push the guy. He draws back into me. Draw back into me. Now it's this way again. Oh, wow. Does that make sense? Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I can know that the what? It's almost the opposite of where you're at. It's the diagonal opposite of things. Does that mean, like if I try to take it this way, that's no good. That's not the opposite. The diagonal is the opposite. There's the diagonal. So if, if you compromise your head back, so lift your head up. Come back, come back forward. There's the, there's the, there's the attack, which is what? Shoulder blade and tailbone. So watch, let me have this. I'm gonna pull you with me. Where are you gonna go first? Shoulder blade. Yeah. See the sweep, the shoulder yeah. blade, come back. All right, so if the shoulder blade's not good because you're going backwards, then I go tailbone. I push you back, tailbone. So the shoulder blade or tailbone, shoulder blade or tailbone is the sweeps. So I'm always looking to put the guy on his shoulder blade or on his tailbone. Shoulder blade or his tailbone with all my sweeps. So you can attack tailbone, he compensates shoulder blade. But I already have shoulder blade set up. Do you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're in this position here. So let's say that, yeah. that I was in this, this scenario here, right? And you put, let's say my guard's open, and you put your knee in the middle. Ah, okay, you're here, no problem. So right now, I feel your base here. See, I have this right here? Mm -hmm. So I have a scenario where I can now play, where I'm just kind of sitting here, and I just kind of take, I'm sort of dipping. Now you're going to dip yourself backwards, right? Because you compensate. Oh, wow. There it is, right? I mean, my yeah. yeah, boom, just real quick. Because yeah. you're not just going to do it. But if I try to drive you to your butt with the initial thing, you're not going to go for that. Yeah. Let me have here, yeah. So I push you here, uh, not going to go for it. So I do the shoulder blade thing. Then he, oh, there it is again. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You see how it is? Like, oh, 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 yeah, which yeah, one do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoulder blade, tailbone, shoulder blade, tailbone, which one do you want? Which one? And eventually one of them shows up. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Feel. Huh. So when I'm here, my biggest thing is when I'm here, you can just play. Like, get, get the sleeve. Let's do the sleeve. Yeah. So you have the option to do me, my shoulder blade, right? So now bring your foot up, put your foot on my hip. We'll just kind of play from here. Yeah. Put your foot on my hip. Yeah. Just kind of do like the loose thing with you right here. Stick, yeah. stick here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So we're kind of playing this game here. So first thing you do, you push me to my tailbone. I don't like. So now I come back forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like. Then push me back to my tailbone. Again. Get my butt on the ground. Now I'm screwed. Now you can stand a base, put a foot on the ground, stand a base, whatever you need to do. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Drag your leg back. Boom. Drag it. Yeah. Uh huh. And, I'm, I'm in and now you're in a position here. And now the same scenario. Look. Look what's here. Yeah. So if I see immediately that I see something's here, look at your weight. Should I take you to your tailbone? Uh, no. No. No way. So what I'm gonna do is go here. Now you're gonna you're gonna stay. You're gonna stay and put the hand on the mat. Put that hand on the mat. You're not gonna fall. You're not a moron. Come on. Yeah. Boom. You're not gonna fall. So what? What's gonna happen? Now, what, now, where's my scenario? Where's your base? My, my base is it's here and here, here, right? It's here. Yeah. Now the tailbone oh, makes no. sense. Oh, I went here, then here again. I went shoulder blade. You put your hand on that tailbone. It doesn't change. That's a, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. So what do we do? Just think in, the, think in terms that. of shoulder blade, tailbone, shoulder blade, tailbone, shoulder blade, tailbone, shoulder blade, tailbone. Shoulder blade, tailbone. Shoulder blade, tailbone. <laughs> and whatever the compromise side is. That was the compromise, the whole side, the compromise side. But you, 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 you gotta get that from a sleeve and collar grip? Well, I mean, but the, here's the thing. I need to have some ability to control your upper body because I need to keep this, this is like a boat rudder, yeah. you know? So if I can keep this pulled down, very much similar, there's that connection that takes place. The sleeve is so the guy can't use his hand. 
Or if he does, he's got a pull to use his hand, and I can, yeah, I can use that pull against, that pull against him. And here's the thing. All this is learned right now because drilling, you can't think of these things. Oh, let me pull. You can. It becomes shoulder blade tailbone. Shoulder blade tailbone. It's got to be very gross size. You know, it's got to be very massive in our thought. Yeah. It can't be this intricate because under stress, it's like these little details don't exist. So it's like you set the scenario up. The grips are the first thing we learn how to do, and those set us up for success. And then we think principle-wise, the big tailbone, shoulder blade, tailbone, shoulder, get under him, don't let him under me. These huge thought processes that exist during the roll, because sometimes if there's a lull, like you kind of stare at each other and you can start to think about doing stuff, yes, you can think. But in the middle of moving, you can't think about where to put your hand sometimes. It's really just like, where do I need to shift my weight to keep him from getting under me or to get under him, whatever, you know, wherever I'm at in that, that scenario. Does that make sense? Yeah. But the grips are key to understand that the reason why is because we're isolating one side of the guy's body, because that's generally where we want to put him. Because remember, it's all about tacking his base, and in him defending his base, submissions take play, they, they show up. Mm -hmm. Because as we get more in jiu-jitsu, we understand the dangers of submissions, so we look out for them. Mm -hmm. So we need to compromise the guy's base for him to stop thinking about submissions and think about his base, and then we can go after submissions. So, so if I'm here, and I'm, this is my base, Yes then you want to take me down. Yeah, way. I'm gonna pull you forward, forward and you're gonna, you're gonna not like it, right? Yeah. You're, gonna, you're gonna give me, and I'm gonna come here, then you come back again, and we'll come here. But if I can get a hold of this guy, it would be awesome, right? Obviously, because I can put you right there. Mm -hmm. But even here, like this right here, look where that, okay, okay, so this base right here, that knee is your other base, so right. your triangle's back that way. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna be there. It's, that's the, they call the weak plane. Mm -hmm. There's no structure, it's a table, this is the tabletop, you know, this, that's the triangle. So if you put two points, on the ground, the triangle is where that, if it doesn't have a base there, it's gonna tip. The triangle's gonna tip. If it doesn't have that fourth piece there, it's gonna fall, okay. right? Yeah. You can't push it right, my right, a lot left. So you can either go that way, that way. So if it's leaning, come back. So let's look, just put one up. Okay, so let's look at, we have a triangles here, right? So we have a couple of weak planes. Here's the problem, the, another weak plane, if you don't have this one, put that hand behind your head, or whatever, that's fine. If you don't have this, I can pull this weak plane, but the problem is, is most of the time I'm here, right? Yeah. Put uh, that hand back there. Yeah. See how you're shifting now, go back this way. Now you shift it now, look, okay, so I put you this way, you shifted it there. Mm -hmm. So now what do I need to do? Push you here or you drop back or I pull you back this way. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? But, but I have to look at where the base is compromised and where the weak plane's at. Yeah. Uh, so how you shift. Friday, I gotta think about that So one. yeah, you're just, that's why it's so important to have a pull. Yeah. Right. A right. push and a pull has the ability to push and shove in that, but if you find the guy drive forward, like I said, I'm making space, I'm in trouble. If I'm pushing most of the time, I'm in trouble. Now you look at that as a tack push, but I'm also driving into you. So we, yeah. right, the analogies yeah. or the rules are guides. They're not hard line yeah. you know, barriers. Yeah, yeah, I've just got to think about it. Yeah, but it's really just put it in. You're, you're already kind of doing it, but we just, we need to start having that mentality yeah. when we roll in. Because you already have all these techniques. It's like, now how do we use? Attack the sweep, go after the submission. Submission gets free. What's the next submission? Where's the transition? So that's the, the, the thing that we just went over. We just went the step further of how to set that whole scenario up. From going from submission to submission, chaining submissions starts off with attacking a sweep. The guy protects his base. We go after the submission. Mm -hmm. He blocks the submission. We transition to another submission or to another sweep, depending on what is available, what we have, not what we want. Yeah. To tie it all back into the very beginning. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 It's, as it's a got, system, it's I got a, I got as a, a game plan, as yeah. a format, as a framework for continuing to move forward. This is our framework to a higher level understanding of what we already know. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it just uh, gonna take a little while to digest that. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs>